everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious flour pretzel bites. And they're really easy to make and the perfect combo of salty and sweet. So here's what you need. So you're going to need a baking sheet like this and some parchment paper to go on top of that. And for the flour pretzel bites, you're going to need pretzels, of course, and some chocolate or white chocolate um, wafers. And different colored m and Okay, and the first thing you'll wanna do is preheat your oven to the lowest temperature I set mine to 170. So wait for, while you're waiting for that to preheat, the first thing you can do is prepare your baking sheet. So just take your parchment paper, enough to cover the baking sheet, and fold it off. flatten it down over the baking sheet. Once that's set, you can start laying your pretzels, however many you want to make, out onto your baking sheet. Okay, and then you're going to put a wafer on top of each pretzel. Okay, now you're going to set a timer. Should take about three minutes for the chocolate to melt over the pretzel. Make sure you have a parent or adult nearby to help you with this. You're just gonna put them in the oven and leave them in there for two to three minutes. But make sure you check on them or keep an eye on them while they're in there. Okay, and while you wait for the chocolate to melt, to have a bag of M&Ms, you can start separating them by color. So it'll make it easier to decorate your pretzels. Careful taking them out of the oven because it's going to be a hot tray. You can see it's pretty melted now on top, so it'll be easier to stick on the M&Ms. And for each pretzel, you can choose a color for the petals. It can be one color or you can um, have different colors, whatever you prefer. But for each flower, there's going to be five M&Ms um, going around the perimeter for the petals and then one more in the center. So six in total. So I'm going to have three petals. So just stick them around. Oops. 
So there you go, five on the outside and then I'll put a purple one in the middle. Pop it in. There you have your flower. I'm gonna make one more. Okay, hope you guys have fun making these flower pretzel bites at home and I'll see you next time. Bye.